Hello and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we are finishing up Revelation 21 and 22. the new Jerusalem. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared, and there was no sea anymore. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It was prepared like a bride dress for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now God's presence is with the people, and he will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them, and will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death, sadness, crying or pain because all the old ways are gone. The one who was sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this because these words are true and can be trusted. The one on the throne said to me, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give free water from the spring of the water of life to anyone who is thirsty. Those who win the victory will receive this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But cowards, those who refuse to believe, who do evil things, who kill, who sin sexually, who do evil magic, who worship idols, and who tell lies. All these will have a place in the lake of burning sulfur. This is a second death. Then one of the seven angels, who had the seven bowls of the seven last troubles, came to me, saying, Come with me, and I will show you the bride the wife of the Lamb. And the angel carried me away by the Spirit to a very large and high mountain. He showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It was shining with the glory of God and was bright. 
like a very expensive jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. The city had a great high wall with twelve gates, with twelve angels at the gates, and on each gate was written the name of one of the twelve tribes of Israel. There were three gates on the east, three on the north, three on the south, and three on the west. The walls of the city were built on twelve foundation stones, and on the stones were written the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The angel who talked with me had a measuring rod made of gold to measure the city, its gates, and its wall. The city was built in a square, and its length was equal to its width. The angels measured the city with a rod. The city was twelve thousand stadia long, twelve thousand stadia wide, and twelve thousand stadia high. The angel also measured the wall. It was 144 cubits high by human measurements, which the angel was using. The wall was made of jasper, and the city was made of pure gold, as pure as glass. The foundation stones of the city walls were decorated with every kind of jewel. The first foundation was jasper, the second was sapphire, the third was chalcedony, the fourth was emerald, the fifth was onyx, the sixth was carnelian, the seventh was chrysolite, the eighth was beryl, the ninth was topaz, the tenth was chrysoprase. The eleventh was jacinth, and the twelfth was amethyst. The twelve gates were twelve or twelve pearls, each gate having been made, made from a single pearl, and the street of the city was made of pure gold as clear as glass. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the city's temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it because the glory of God is its light and the Lamb is the city's lamp. By its light, the people of the world will walk and the king of the earth will bring their glory into it. The city's gates will never be shut on any day because there is no night here. The glory and the honor of the nations will be brought into it. Nothing unclean and no one who does shameful things or tells lies will ever go into it. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life will enter the city. 22. Then the angel showed me the river of water of life. It was shining like crystal and was flowing from the throne of God of the Lamb down the middle of the street of the city. The trees of life is on each side of the river. It produces fruit twelve times a year, once each month. The leaves of the trees are for the healing of all the nations. Nothing that God judges guilty will be in that city. Thy, the throne of God and of the Lamb will be there, and God's servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be written on their foreheads. There will never be night again. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun because the Lord God will give them light and they will rule as kings forever and ever. The angel said to me, These words can be trusted and are true. The Lord 
the God of the spirits of the prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things that must happen soon. Listen, I am coming soon. Happy is the one who obeys the words of prophecy in this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. When I heard and saw them, I bowed down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed, who showed these things to me. But the angel said to me, Do not worry. Do not worship me. I am a servant like you. Your brothers, the prophets, and all those who obey the word, words in this book, worship God. Then the angel told me, Do not keep secrets the words of prophecy in this book, because the time is near for all this to happen. Let whoever is doing evil continue to do evil. Let whoever is unclean continue to be unclean. Let whoever is doing right continue to do right. Let whoever is holy continue to be holy. Listen, I am coming soon. I will bring my reward with me, and I will repay each one of you for what you have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Happy are those who wash their robes so that they will receive the right to eat the fruit from the tree of life, and they go through the gate into the city. Outside the city are the evil people, those who do evil magic, who sin sexually, who murder, who worship idols, and who love lies and tell lies. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to tell you these things for the churches. I am the descendant from the family of David, and I am the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, Come. Let the one who hears this say, Come. Let whoever is thirsty come. Whoever wishes may have the water of life as a free gift. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds anything to these words, God will add to that person the disasters written about in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of this book of prophecy, God will take away that one's share of the tree of life and of the holy city, which are written about in this book. Jesus, the one who says these things are true, says, yes, I'm coming soon. Amen. Come. Lord Jesus, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. Amen. Life Lesson, Revelations 21 through 22. Situation. John told Christians that in the end, God would triumph. Despite the obstacles Christians face in this life, all who hold Jesus as their Lord will spend eternity in fellowship with God. Observation. Finally, sin will be destroyed. Death will die. Tears, anger, and frustration will be gone. Inspiration. The most helpful words of the passage from Revelation are those of God's resolve. I am making everything new. It's hard to see things grow old. The town in which I grew up is growing old. I was there recently. Some of the buildings are boarded up. Some of the houses are torn down. Some of my teachers are retired. Some are buried. The old movie house where I took my dates has for sale on the marquee. Long since outdated by the newer theater that give you eight choices, the only visitors to the drive-in theater are tumbleweeds and rodents. Memories of the first dates and senior proms are weathered 
worn by the endless rain of years. High school sweethearts are divorced. A cheerleader died of an aneurysm. Our fastest halfback is buried. Only a few plots from the, my own father. I wish I could make it all new again. I wish I could blow the dust of the streets. I wish I could walk through the familiar neighborhood and wave at the familiar faces and pet the familiar dogs. But I can't. I can't, but God can. He restores my soul, wrote the shepherd. He doesn't reform, he restores. He doesn't camouflage the old, he restores the new. The master builder will pull out the original plan and restore it. He will restore the vigor, he will restore the energy, he will restore the hope, he will restore the soul. Application. Are you looking forward to the day when God removes all evil? Throughout today, worship God and tell Him of your love for Him. As you encounter others who notice your joy, tell them about the future you have. Okay, so I think on my last video, I read this last life lesson. <laughs> Um, not sure what happened, but it, I, I read, I've read this before. Um, what I love about the ending of this revelation book is that no matter what happens, how ugly and how scary it is, when we have Jesus in our hearts, he promises victory for us. He promises golden gates, our bodies to be restored, renewed. That's his focus. That's his plan to renew us, to rebuild us. All of our weaknesses, all of our uh, insecurities are restored instantly. And I'm thankful for this, and I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for this channel, you guys, that I'm able to read the Bible along with you guys and know that one day you, me, you, every, you know, all these subscribers in this channel and hopefully more and other subscribers in other channels, um, we will all see each other in the pearly gates in the in in our new heaven our the new jerusalem and it's going to be great it's going to be awesome so i'm really really thankful for you guys i appreciate you guys taking the time and to listen to the word um to my videos and keep tuning in with god keep seeking him and reaching and getting to know him because we're all gonna have victory at the end we may not have you know pleasant lives here on earth or you know great things to talk about all the time but the hope that we will have it, it would it will only get better and it will stay better here on earth it's like riding a roller coaster we have our good good and bad our ups and downs um people can be mean people can be you know uh nice and we we can look forward to heaven being just full of joy full of the, your greatest day here on earth that's not even close to what we'll be feeling in heaven in the new in our new renewed store renew and restored earth so thanks again for watching i totally appreciate you guys love you all love to see you in the comments and chat with you there um uh we will see you next week i hope you have a great weekend and great rest of the week and we'll see you next time Bye-bye.